Hey guys, this is Derek with Aerial Assault. I'm here today to show you the technique that I use to paint my sticks subalpine pattern. You can use this technique for platforms, sticks, anything else you might want custom painted. Uh, feel free to hit subscribe down there on the bottom if you like our content and follow along with us throughout the year. I just want to go over a few things that you're going to need. Uh, you just need one of the cheap, one or two of the cheap 99 cent loofahs, um, paper plate, probably not the foam ones it does like to eat through those uh, just get the paper ones I like to use the rust-oleum colored paint um, I got a green you can kinda tell the the color green that's gonna be <clears throat> dark brown and then I've got just a cheap black and a cheap tan uh, just from Walmart so I already had those I didn't want to go out and buy uh, any more of the rust-oleum so um, anyway the first step that you're going to do is you're just going to take whatever it is you're wanting to paint. In this case, I'm going to paint my stick. And um, you just want to give it a good base coat of tan. Now, what I did notice when I painted this one is that the tan turned out a little lighter than I really anticipated. But if you get more a darker tan, more of like a light brown, it'll turn out um, a little more of your subalpine color. Uh, I'm going to put a picture a picture down here in the lower corner and uh, that's a stick that Zach had done already and it'll give you a good idea of what that will turn out like um, as far as the darker tan. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the green. I don't think it really matters whether you do the brown or the black or whatever. So I'll start with green. You just want a good puddle of green right here. And then just dip a little bit of the loofah in there and just dab it throughout the stick. Just get more as you need it. And I was okay with getting quite a bit of green because I know that I'm going to get brown and a little bit of black next, so I'll be able to cover it as I need to also. So this is what it'll look like after you've dabbed the green on there. Next I'm going to do the brown and then the black. And you're just going to repeat what you just did except with the next color. And you don't have to do quite as much of the next two colors as you did the first color, whether it's green or whatever. I don't feel like the order of the colors is really gonna matter a whole lot. That wraps that up for the subalpine technique on your sticks or platforms. Remember, if you want a little darker tan, uh, coat it a few more times or just use a lighter brown or a darker tan color in the beginning. Uh, if you want more of a certain color, then just use dab a little more of that on there and uh, that will give you the, the outcome that you're looking for. Don't forget to hit subscribe and be on the lookout for some more content. Thanks for watching Aerial Assault.